today we are at a test facility that we're using to train some of our robots for the DARPA Subterranean Challenge final event. There are about 13 teams that are competing and DARPA has challenged us to build technologies that will augment and improve underground operations, communications, and navigation for firefighters, emergency response teams, as well as uh, potential military applications. DARPA is going to challenge us to meet all three of the environments for the challenge, which include tunnels, caves, and urban environments. So our team, Team Explorer from Carnegie Mellon University, has developed a series of robotic systems that are able to autonomously navigate and find their way through various underground environments. Each of these systems are fully autonomous in themselves, and they also communicate with one another throughout the course so that they can relate information about the terrain, the map that the others are seeing, what artifacts they're looking for or have found, and where they're at relative to one another. Here at Carnegie Mellon, we have a, a team of about 30 researchers, ranging from undergraduate students, graduate students, as well as uh, staff and faculty members here at the university. And each of us brings a different area of expertise to the system. There's a lot of computer science. There's a lot of mechanical design and engineering that needs to go into these. And there's also a need for understanding of communication systems and how they work. One of the keys to our success in this program has been our students. The students make up about 60% of the team. Uh, the work that they've been doing has been above and beyond their, their normal classwork. They come out here into the field so they really get a good hands-on experience uh, from this program, as well as working on state-of-the-art technologies that are going to be years in the making. The students are really the core of this team.